Yeah, definitely. I think that uh, I think that we were the best team there, and uh, that we did not uh, achieve our our ultimate goal. But at the same time, uh, I'm very proud of my bronze medal, and I really wouldn't trade it for anything at this point. I think that it taught me some very valuable lessons, and it's helped form who I am today. Uh, well, I have a, my fiance and I have a little safe, but um, I used to keep it in my my mother's uh, like china hutch okay. <laughs> in, her, in her kitchen. Uh, I don't really like keeping it, you know. I don't I don't want to keep it in a safety deposit box or anything like that because then you can't share it with anybody. Mm-hmm. Some people are very fearful that it's going to be stolen and things like that. But um, you know, if you if you can't take that metal out and show it to people, then you don't really have it. Yeah, definitely show it to my teammates. Um, shown it to a lot of kids uh, in Orange County and L.A. Uh, through various speaking uh, things. And um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to see people light up when they see the medal and ask questions about it. Is this real Olympic medal? Is it, oh, my gosh, it's so heavy and stuff like that. But it's cool to show it to the kids and, uh, and also to my teammates because uh, then there's you – know, I remember watching the Olympics at the Olympics. I watched the other – other people get their medals and things like that and there's nothing you wanted more than to get one for yourself and so uh, by having one I feel that I've achieved one of those goals but I would definitely want another. Actually it's not it's it's actually I'm one of those people that I am pleasantly distracted. Uh, I'm you know I fidget and I move around a lot. I can't sit at home all weekend. And, you know, for everybody it's different. Some people like to be locked up in their room in front of the TV under the covers all day. And I can't do that. That'll, that'll drive me crazy. Yeah. So I need to be moving and shaking. So I feel that um, that having this is a, it's been a pleasant distraction. It's something that you know calms me down and makes me feel better about everything that I'm doing and everything that's going on. Well, the last time we were there, we actually got sent on a little uh, scavenger hunt, so to speak. Uh, so we got to see the Forbidden City and Tiananmen Square, and you know, I got to see a Lama Temple and all that other stuff. So it, it was really cool to see the religious aspects of their culture and also uh, historical aspects of their country. And so uh, I definitely want to maybe go back and see those again, <clears throat> maybe have a little bit more time to actually look at them in depth instead of just, oh, hey, look, there's Tiananmen Square. All right, turn around and leave. Um, and then there's some other things, like a couple of girls got to ride on a rickshaw and uh, do some other things. I know there's plenty of things to see there. So uh, if I do get a chance, I'd love to go and see it, but I think we have some days after the tournament's over. It definitely won't be during the tournament, but afterward. But usually when I travel, I collect uh, not necessarily pieces of art, but like a, a poster from that country. Uh, so obviously I, I bought an Olympics poster from Athens, and I had a bunch of uh, people in the American delegation sign it. So I have like the entire softball team, men's water polo team, uh, obviously the women's water polo team, and then some various you know, rowers, track athletes, wrestlers. And people like that, <clears throat> anybody I can find, I'm like, hey, will you sign my poster? So I think that that's one of my favorite souvenirs from the games is a poster signed by a bunch of medalists.